Dear colleagues and friends, the global hunger crisis affects more than 800 million people, driven by conflicts and economic shocks compounded by climate change. Infants, small children, and pregnant and breastfeeding women are hit the hardest. Around the world, there are now famine-like conditions in six countries. The Greater Horn of Africa, one of the worst hit regions, is facing its worst drought in decades. WHO and our partners are on the ground providing basic health services, treating severe malnutrition, and helping countries prevent and respond to outbreaks. Over the long term, we need a profound change in food systems. We need to end unsustainable production and consumption practices that lead to environmental degradation and increase the likelihood of unsafe and unhealthy food, antimicrobial resistance, and zoonotic diseases. I am pleased that Egypt, as COP27 president, with WHO and other partners, launched the Initiative on Climate Action and Nutrition. We need global efforts such as this, followed by action on the ground to address the intimate links between food security, production and consumption, climate and health. Building sustainable food systems and addressing the climate crisis are twin priorities for ending hunger and building a healthier, safer, fairer future for all people. I thank you.